Yeah, we're here at Joyride 150. It's here in Toronto. It's Drew's local park. He invited us all out here. We're here for Red Bull Performance Week and just do a bunch of training and riding and learning. It's just rad to get all the riders together. It kind of means a little bit more to me because it's kind of like my local spot, so I get to ride with all my good friends. This week we're like working with coaches and they're giving us the outside perspective. And so they watch us do our own thing and analyze that and give us feedback that can maybe tweak and just help here and there. I think the proper term would be I love it. <laughs> It's cool, like we all kind of just split up and do our own thing. Like some of us are on the pump track, some of us are in the skate park, some are riding like the rhythm section. It's a huge indoor setup. I haven't rode something like this in a while, so it's really cool. It's got beginner, medium, expert, and then just foam pits for all the fun stuff. Filming everything we do, so we can look back to it, see what we did wrong, see what we want to adjust and change to make it the way we want it to be. like a tsunami. It's awesome too because every rider brings a little bit different style or tricks to the table so it's just cool to have everybody feeding off each other and, and getting more ideas. I'll try another Bowen inspired move. Proper, clicking it, felt good. And what you're not supposed to do, that was worst case scenario. It was kind of awesome like watching some of the dudes that are new to trampoline bouncing pick up on this stuff really quick. And I think even like the instructors were pretty taken back by it. They're some of the best athletes, the most explosive athletes, and hardworking people I've ever met. And uh, they have a lot more fun, so it's pretty cool. Pretty impressive, huh? You're an excellent coach, thanks. Okay. I've always been flipping and doing all that stuff, but it's never been controlled and as accurately controlled as that. Yesterday on the trampolines, Hucker learned double flips. If you would have asked me a week ago, will I ever try that on a trampoline? I would have been like, no way on earth, ever. And I've done them on my BMX for almost 10 years now, and I've never in my entire life spotted the landing on the first rotation. And after doing that on a trampoline, I don't ever want to do it again the way I've done it. The way I've done it doesn't really make sense anymore. With Matt and Dave's help, we did a lot of really good stuff on the trampolines that I think we're going to be able to bring to our BMX bikes. Probably shouldn't do the head wobble, huh? <laughs> and this part of the segment, we're working in the gym for the fitness side of things, like learning how to strengthen your body. It's pretty rad, like learning some things and, and how some workouts can like improve your riding. And then just overall, like you just feel better on the bike and you can prevent injuries. So this side's actually really cool to learn about and it's pretty funny at the same time with all these guys. You know, it's all good. You work out on your own or you do your own thing, but for me, I need someone there. So it's good to have someone really hustling on you. It's crazy. You think you're in decent shape. Yep, hold down. Four steps. So you come hang out with her. <laughs> That's the hardest workout of my life. BMX is pretty much all just self-taught. I mean, there's people that give you pointers on how to do things, but basically it's pretty much just you learning it on your own. But it's not like a contest like environment. We're kind of just hanging out, having fun, learning new things, pushing each other. I don't think there's any way these performance camps wouldn't help you. You just see what you're doing and how to perfect it and make it better. It's just crazy to think of the possibilities given the proper techniques. <laughs> 